Good morning. Please join in singing number 480, Shepherd Me, O God. Number 480. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is Friday, the third week of Lent. <coughs> Our Mass intention today is for Father Leo Manalo, the deceased, and also Nina Malabana, the living. This Mass is being live streamed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to the lasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unworthy desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all iniquities and receive what is good, that we may render as offering the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoot. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise again and raise the grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am a verdant cypress tree. Because of me you, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. A responsorial psalm, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the your Lord God, your God, hear my, hear voice. my voice. In unfamiliar speech I hear, I receive his shoulder of the burden, his hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen I answer you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. If only my people would hear me and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat 
and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I, I am, am the Lord, Lord your God. Hear my, hear my voice. Father, your blessing. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Glory to you, you Lord, Lord of God, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to Jesus, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he, and to love him with all your heart with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, Jesus said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God, and no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. You are not far from the kingdom of God. So Jesus was so satisfied on what uh, this man responded to his question. And it seems that he was fulfilled what uh, he was required to do it. According to Jewish laws, there were more than 613 and I wondered, I was asking myself, how did he manage to fulfill all those things? Mm -hmm. But the question is all about, is it checking in the box or fulfill it in our day-to-day -day life? God's commandments are not burden to all of us, but they helped us to love one another, to love God, and to love our neighbor. Do we fulfill it? And Jesus is telling us, you are not far away from the kingdom of God. How can we make it? By doing what Jesus has entrusted us. It's all about love. And it's all about sacrifice. And it is all about faith in Jesus Christ. The first reading reminds us that when we change our hearts and put our trust in Jesus, no matter what we do, even if we do something wrong as sinners and come closer to Jesus, he's always awaiting us with an open heart. He wants us to come to him. And he knows us that we are always accept our weaknesses, but sometimes it's very difficult. This young man is asking Jesus, and he did it. And Jesus is telling him, you are not far away from the kingdom of God. So Jesus is also telling us today that this time of Lent, let us be closer to Jesus. Let us be closer to the kingdom of God. Let us recognize that God first and neighbor second. By doing that and fulfill it with an open heart and being ready to do it each day, we will also be like this young man. My dear brothers and sisters, you cannot do more rather than where you are. Begin from your own house. Begin from your own community. Begin from your own friends and make a difference in your journey of life. Jesus loves us, and he wants us to make a difference in our lives. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, 
You have showed us that you have come so that we may have life. But you want us so that we may continue always to fulfill the golden rule to love God and to love our neighbor. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us to turn to the Lord for the grace and forgiveness offered in the sacrament of reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to strive to love our God with our whole hearts, our whole souls, our whole minds, and our whole strength, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to follow God's command to love our neighbor as ourselves, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis bishops, priests, deacons, religious seminarians, and lay leaders to be strengthened by God as they seek to spread the good news, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who feel lost or forgotten by God to be comforted by, our, by a brother or sister in Christ, willing to share the gift of God's unconditional love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to live our, our, out our vision to be a thriving, spirit-filled faith community transforming lives for Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who come for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, since we have no merits to plead our cause, Come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true and right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of the passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we are claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this, this bread and, and drink this, this cup, we, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Will, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Reverend Leo Manalo, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died no mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. We ask if you're watching us live stream, please put a note on the chat box. Peace be with you, Father. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
to love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself is worthy more than any sacrifice. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Deacon Gary, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. I want to leave this challenge to all of you. Is God my, pri my priority? Is my neighbor also my priority? And who is my neighbor? That's the question to all of us. What about your wife? What about your husband? What about your neighbor eh, closer to your house there? And what about your son and your daughter? And what about your community members, your co-worker? Let us think deeply, especially this time of Lent. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing the second verse of number 480, Shepherd Me, O God, number 480. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name.